Uh, April 28th. April 28th. My son is 20 years old today. I'm an old man. Wow. Ain't that crazy? 20 years old. Right. Wow. wow. You are you are relatively old. Well, I can't you believe I only had him when I was 10. All right. Never mind. Okay. So uh, today we're actually going to do only a couple topics because we're breaking up our podcast in two, uh, in two sessions at this time. So... Today we're going to talk about... Right, we're way overworked just talking about random stuff. Yeah, no, we're actually trying something different, not not that we're overworked. We're still going to have the same amount of topics. Um, we're just breaking up the, the times we record. Um, so we're going to talk about the... We're going to talk about Amiibos. Uh, Amiibos! Yeah, ami- Amiibos. Um, and then we're going to talk about something really cool, uh, SNES Classic. So uh, That's exciting. Yeah, so it's going to be a fun-packed podcast of two items, uh, but like I said, we'll we'll be getting some more out there. So, all right. Well, you well, usually only see one item when you put the podcast up. So one at a time. Yep, you're right. Um, and you're getting darker as we speak. Yeah, isn't that weird. Yeah, what was it? Your sun setting? Uh, no. Somebody opened the door and it's letting light in on the back, so the camera is adjusting. Let me, uh, let me. Wow, this is going well. Uh, let me close the door of opportunity here. This is going real well. Uh, and then that should fix the lighting. Ah, uh, sweet. Beautiful. Should put a... again. <laughs> I, I was afraid I was going to be a Mexican amiibo in real life. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, no, just, uh, just uh, on the thumbnail. Just on the thumbnail. Yeah. So, all right. Well, now everyone has to go back and look at the thumbnail and check if I'm actually a Mexican amiibo. Yeah. Well, you are, and you actually still do look a little Mexican. Um, I definitely look just a lot. Just been lighter. living in Arizona for a while. It happens. All right. Yeah, but you're like ultra white, dude. Like, I don't even. I think the camera just adds some stuff for you, some pigments, I guess. So, well, moving, moving on from our intro to our first topic, our Amiibos, the cute little collectibles that are actually useful in your game from Nintendo. Wow, you just happen to have some on your desk there. What are they, Mike? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I haven't ever opened them. So, I've never actually used an Amiibo. I get them with collector's editions, and they just sit here in the box because I really... Don't You've never used Amiibos? Never in my life have I used an Amiibo. Um, but you have all the Nintendo systems. Maybe, and you yeah. never utilized a wonderful Amiibo system? Nope, absolutely not. Uh, to me, it was kind of a gimmick thing. So I just never really... I never felt the urge to to get that deep into it and and do whatever it does. You, on the other hand, are an Amiibo fan, an Amiibo fanatic, and you have the whole set. That is not true on any about of the, those points. There, there is something about the gold Mario I know that you have. I do have be- the gold Mario, and I do have a lot of the initial Amiibos they put out. I, I think after a while, it just got way too expensive. I mean, you're paying 13 bucks per Amiibo. And that's assuming you can find the ones you need or looking for, and then they start coming out with variants. I mean, how many different links did they come out with? You know, a couple, right? And then yeah, yeah, it was they really do. bad. Oh, I might nice. be coming down with a cold. I'm gonna take my vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, and snip into the mic because that's that's what all the viewers want. So that's good. Um, oh, let me pause it. Below. So uh, I guess he's paused it or muted his sound. That's good. That's very, very generous of him. Well, that looks like a big blow. I don't know. Wow, he's getting in there. Look at him go. Okay. Half of this topic is actually going to be him blowing his nose. Okay. Right. Uh, Amiibos, they do in fact blow. Yeah, well... I, I think so. I, I mean, was doing symbolism. Yeah, I like it. Visual I, symbolism. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So do you find a use for them? Do you use them on your Wii U 
or 3ds no i mean i don't know if they've changed recently with the you know some of the animal crossing ones but back yeah. in the day when they first started coming out they unlocked practically nothing mm-hmm. and you could unlock a few extra outfits or whatever but most of that you could buy on the nintendo store too or some variation of it you know i mean it it just i i like collecting them because they were new and they were cool and yeah you know they they're, were they're like fun to collect. they're fun to collect for me uh, i don't have very many at all they're, they're i yeah. actually have three ones in a box uh in a collector set box i haven't opened but they're yeah, just they, collectors they, they were they were just fun to collect. We opened a few and tried them. You could put them on the Smash Brothers and get a character to help you level up. Um, but it was gimmicky. Know. It was very gimmicky. I mean, why is it so popular? Why I think they... mostly because it's Nintendo characters. So yeah, they're collectible, right? We we get that, but but I mean, these things go off the shelf like crazy. I mean. Uh, I get collectibles and, and collectors, but you know, Skylanders has the same exact thing. But that's you know a, a whole series, and I think they're done. They don't do it anymore. But it's, right. it, it was like a craze. Yeah, and doesn't Skylanders they open up new levels and worlds and abilities yeah. and all that? Right. I mean, at I least there's more of a purpose than just oh, you get an extra outfit. So I don't, I don't, I don't know how long Nintendo could. Uh, keep this up i think i mean i think they have got a good thing i think a lot of collectors are are, are liking it and it seems like you know there, there's always been that thing where i've heard that amiibo saved nintendo uh which i think is absolutely asinine because i think nintendo is flying no matter what i've never heard uh, that somebody yeah. say that yeah yeah they said well because the wii u did so horrible that they couldn't sell anything. So when the Wii U or when the Amiibos came out, it was just like, oh wow, Nintendo's selling something again, right? So it was. I don't know if. I mean, I don't think Nintendo's going to go bankrupt or anything. I think they're. Yeah, they're I imagine the out. Amiibos made it a little easier to deal with financially, though. But still, I mean, they are fun to collect, and Japan has a great uh, penchant for collecting things. Yeah. You know, I I always talk about we need those types of things over here uh for example yeah. in japan you can buy coffee and on top of the coffee is a little tiny car for example and they tell you you know you can collect all these different cars just by buying these coffee drinks you know mm-hmm. I, I would love i would love to see that over here you buy a red bull and you get like a pikachu or something on it you know collect all the pokemon by buying a bunch of red bull yeah 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 stuff like that actually sells product too right uh, you know. yeah yeah it, it, there's just something about collecting you know i i have a lot of amiibos uh i stopped um buying them about i don't know six months ago just because it got too annoying and expensive uh but i still so did you have a, I, that, I, I did um, have fun collecting them did you do you have a full set from the the initial ones i believe so I, I think i have the first two rounds at least 100 percent, and then i mm-hmm. got bits and pieces of the others now, did you buy the, and, the, the, and i might the, still buy uh more of the current ones like because they're releasing the last line for smash brothers uh and i definitely want cloud i yeah. don't know if i want bayonetta but i i am looking forward to her variant version where uh she has no hair oh yeah see i didn't, I didn't know that. that's that's pretty interesting so uh well they're, they're going to continue making these and people are going to continue buying them because they like to collect things and waste money. So Nintendo, you did a great job. 